There are many ways to travel between Copenhagen and Denmark's other major cities. But perhaps the most unique option is Combado Expressen with its interesting floating bus terminal concept. So join me on this bus journey from Copenhagen to Aarhus where we take a look at the ups and downs of traveling with Combado and how they use their ferry as a convenient bus hub allowing for seamless journeys across the country. Our journey starts this morning from Copenhagen's long distance bus terminal, if you can even call it a bus terminal. It's basically just a long street behind the main station where all the bus operators have decided to gather their services. This also means the facilities here are extremely limited. So only arrive here just before your bus is about to depart, there's literally nothing here apart from these two shelters. Luckily Copenhagen is actually building a proper bus terminal. It's currently under construction and set to open next year in 2024. And unlike the current bus station, there's actually going to be a waiting area and is located close to an IKEA as well as a large mall. And it's only located 700 meters away from the old bus terminal, so it will still be fairly central once it gets taken into use. But well, back at the current terminal, I guess it has features such as makeshift bike parking. and signage for the various operators serving this spot, including ours, Combado Expressen. Unfortunately, our bus today won't be operated by one of their own buses. Instead, we have one of these Setra double-decker buses from Skålunde Turistbusser. Anyway, time to board. I had my ticket ready in the Combado app, but the driver just wanted to know the last four digits in my phone number used on the booking. Seat selection is generally free on board Combado, except for the front row seats, which can be reserved for an extra fee. Which I decided to pay for. Normally I prefer the window seat, but I think I'll take the aisle in this case. Up above you'll find a small storage space for very small backpacks or jackets or something like that. But before we leave, let's fix this seat. Almost as good as brand new, I'm sure this will be great for future passengers. But despite the bus not being in the best condition, we depart here from Copenhagen's bus terminal right on time at 6.45. Our journey out of Copenhagen takes us right past the main railway station located to the left. From here we make our way down to join one of the main roads in Copenhagen, Ring 2. And after roughly 15 minutes of driving, we join Holbeck Motorvejen, which is one of the major motorways leading into Copenhagen. And I think it's about time we take a look at the route map for today's journey. We are on board the 0645 departure by Combado Expressen. A bus leaves from the stop at Ingerslevsgade and sees us head up non-stop along Holbeck Motorvejen and Route 21 up to the ferry port at Ålen. Here our bus will head onto the ferry that will take us to Aarhus, which is as far as I'll be traveling today. The journey from Copenhagen to Aarhus is scheduled to take 3 hours 35 minutes to cover roughly 188 kilometers, including the ferry ride which lands the bus an average speed of 52 km per hour. After Aarhus, the bus continues along Norjuske Motorvej route E45 to Randers and Aalborg. It's a really beautiful morning as we leave Copenhagen. And as we have now navigated all the highway junctions around the city, we are now making our way out towards Roskilde, Holbæk and Aalen. You know you are passing by Roskilde when you see the interesting tall brown tower, which is the city's co-generation plant. A co-generation plant is a facility that generates both electricity and useful thermal energy such as steam or hot water from a single energy source, increasing overall efficiency by utilizing wasted heat that would otherwise be discarded. These type of plants are very common across Denmark. But if you are not so much into co-generation plants, the city is also home to Denmark's largest festival, as well as various interesting museums, like the Viking Ship Museum. The further we get from Copenhagen, the smaller the road gets, 
first transitioning into one of these 1 plus 2 roads and eventually becoming a one lane road through Danish countryside which you will be enjoying from your seat. The legroom is pretty good but this is the front seat after all. There's air vents up above as well as a reading light. The seats are fairly comfortable. Obviously this one had some issues but perfectly good for the 3 hour journey. You'll also find power, both in the form of a USB socket as well as a normal plug socket. The best scenery along the route is definitely the final 30 minutes up towards the ferry port. I also have to mention just how simple and user friendly the Combado app is. It easily shows you all the available departures and gives you a quick overview of your tickets, which can easily be edited in the app. We are now approaching the ferry port, but there's still one thing I haven't shown you on the bus that is mandatory on my channel. There is a toilet on board, so let's go and find it. As you can see, the bus is fairly busy and laid out in an expected 2 plus 2 layout. On the lower floor, you can also find two bays of four, which I guess is great for traveling with your family. And towards the back here is where the toilet is located. Unfortunately, neither the flush worked, or the sink, but I guess you could go in here for the experience of night vision with this green tint. But for being a bathroom, this gets a thumbs down. Anyway, let's head back up towards our seat. And right here we are at Odden Fairhound. The bus has priority, meaning we can quickly enter the queue. From here we will drive over to the priority bus lane as the bus will be the first thing to board the ferry. The ferry has already arrived from Aarhus and is just about to start the disembarkation. So it'll just be a short wait here before it's our turn to board the ferry. And as soon as the ferry has been emptied, we are the first ones allowed to drive on board. You might be wondering why this bus gets so much priority, but Combado Express is actually owned by the ferry company, meaning it's in their interest to keep the buses on time and provide a good service for their bus passengers. But it's also for another reason, as Combado Express uses their ferry essentially as a floating bus terminal meaning it's crucial for the buses to be parked next to each other once on board the ferry. And you might wonder how exactly this process works, so here's a diagram to explain. Combado operate various lines from across Shelland up onto the ferry, where they are all timed to meet to take the same crossing. Here the ferry is then used essentially as a hub, allowing you to easily change buses and then head on to various destinations in Jylland. Once on board, the bus has to be driven into position, which is no easy task on a tight space like this ferry. The bus first starts to make this 180 degree turn, and then is reversed into the parking position. And once the bus has been parked, it's time to exit and head up to the passenger decks. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, on the departure I took, we were the only bus on board. But you can imagine how it would look with two, three other buses here. You could easily then just transfer two. Right, anyway, let's set up into the passenger decks and see what the ferry is like. It's spacious, with plenty of seating and onboard offerings such as this canteen. You can also visit the onboard diner or relax in the quiet area with these big reclining chairs. Or you can head towards the back of the ferry where there's an open terrace. And with the final cars on board, the gates will be shut and we will be ready to undock and start our crossing. The ferries used between Odden and Aarhus are high-speed catamarans and can complete the crossing in just 80 minutes. And at this pace, we'll be in Aarhus in no time. For the crossing, I just settled in in one of these big reclining chairs. They come with a small tray table. It wasn't super sturdy, but it would get the job done. As mentioned, these seats recline. And I have to say, they are actually really comfortable, way better than the bus. So, actually, considering you spent half of the journey on board this ferry, this actually improves the offering, I'd say. And after a smooth crossing, it's time for us to start the docking process here in Aarhus. As vehicles can only enter the ferry from one end, the ferry essentially has to reverse back into the port. But while this is going on, you should be returning to your vehicle, so let's head back to the bus. And if your journey was booked with a transfer, this would be now you just simply instead go and find a spot in the bus continuing to your destination. The bus stop in Aarhus is only a 10 minute drive away from the ferry port. So for the remainder of the journey, it's basically just a matter of us navigating out of the port complex and into the city center, where we actually catch a glimpse of some of Combado's own buses. And as you might be able to tell on those buses, they advertise fares as low as 109 Danish crowns, which is about 15 euros. Not bad for a 3 hour bus journey. Speaking of fares, in my case I paid slightly more at 169 crowns, booked roughly two weeks in advance on the Combado website. On top of this, I paid 40 Danish crowns to select a front seat, but I would probably not do this again if I was not recording a video. I think this is decent value, especially considering the relatively short booking notice. And with that, we are now approaching the bus stop here in Aarhus. I found the bus to be an okay option to get between the cities, but with the state railway also having train tickets starting roughly around the 100 crowns mark, but able to complete the journey in an hour less than the bus using more spacious, smooth and comfortable vehicles, I'd probably only book the bus again if the train was significantly more expensive. If you want to compare for yourself, you can see my video on the Copenhagen to Aarhus train in the top right hand corner. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this slightly different video compared to the normal train ones but I thought the ferry bus terminal concept was interesting. Don't expect any more bus reviews on this channel though, but if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me over on Twitter at IntercitySimon, where I usually post live from my trips. 
Thanks for watching.